and you just surround yourself with those people where when you're doing what you think is genuinely valuable, they go, yes, I agree with you. And they try to give you something that's also valuable back. And that just becomes like a, like a resonance of the same frequency. Uh, I don't want to have a life where I'm having a full year of uh, routine and stuff like that. And just like two days a year being in this awesome events with all these awesome people like you, like everyone who's participating. Uh, I want this to be my whole life. And uh, so I would like to know you guys, like how did you guys figure this out and how do you surround yourself all the time with uh, such amazing people that you can grow all the time with? I'm gonna do a really short answer. Only hang out with really amazing people like this. <laughs> look, look how many of them there are. This is true. Yeah, yeah it's, all, it's all over. It's done. Um, my answer with that is that it's about collaborations. So it's that if you want to get people invested in you and wanting to spend, like high quality people, and I know the types of people you want to hang around with, then you need to be actually creating things together. It's not really enough to just hang around. Even hanging around having powerful conversations, which is good to do, uh, doesn't bind people. It's when you actually combine resources, you draw somebody into your cult of two to start with, uh, and that you want to collaborate on something, whether that's meeting women or starting a business or traveling or throwing a picnic or having a house party or uh, you know releasing an app or whatever it is. When people invest in each other and they both benefit from it or share the farcical failure of it, and, you know, which is one thing that can bring people together in the short term as well, uh, then those people want to stick around. Because loyalty is not uh, unconditional. It's that, that's what I've known from leading groups for many years, is that people will move on when their needs are not met by the, the current group or the direction. And that's not something I take personally anymore. I understand that, okay, if, if I'm, as the leader, not creating a space for people to feel uh, satisfied or to actualize themselves, then they'll move on to something else if they're quality people because they'll have our other opportunities. So the best way to make sure you're getting what you're doing, what you want, is to make sure everyone around you is getting what they want. Being in service. Quickly. Yeah, I would say, uh, apart from all of that, which is great, is uh, going into new situations and just having the attitude of constantly really believing that you're just giving value to people like in everything that you're doing, just interacting with them, whatever it is, even if it's a short little interaction. And then what happens is, is the more you're willing to do that, right, which is putting yourself in a social situation where people might not like you and throwing stuff out there that you believe is valuable, then um, it's very, it becomes very easy because what happens is a certain a percentage of those people will just reciprocate that value back to you. They'll be like, yeah, they'll resonate with it. You'll be on this sort of the same level as them. And they'll be like, yeah, that's kind of cool. And that reciprocation, it happens automatically. You don't have to do anything to make it happen. And you just surround yourself with those people where when you're doing what you think is genuinely valuable, they go, yes, I agree with you. And they try to give you something that's also valuable back. And that just becomes like a, like a resonance of the same frequency. So I'll add something quickly to that. I mean, without a shadow of a doubt, you become who you hang with. It's the law of conformity. You, know, you hang around with 10 recreational drug users, you're going to become the 11th. You, know, you hang around with 10 positive people that come from how we can, not why we can't, you're going to become the 11th. So peer group is, is, is huge. The biggest mistake I see people make in a peer group is going out because they want to get an upgraded peer group and they're focused on an egocentric level of exchange rather than walking around, as the guys have said, you know, what can I do to collaborate? How can I add value? Just like what I said yesterday, it's like, you know, most people are trying to say, oh, how can I go make a million dollars, rather than so how can I attract an opportunity that allows me to add a million dollars worth of value. So, you know, being able to be mindful of that and just, you know, consciously choosing the people and not being afraid to let go of the people that hold you down. Yeah, they're on their own journey. Send them some love. Move on. Thank you very much. Great.